holding on <laughs> I'm holding on I'm standing strong I'm not hanging on I'm holding on oh no no I'm not losing I'm not I, I got a nice little sound machine that just lulls me off to peaceful dreams Oh, vitally important, not only just for making me as Angela feel comfortable, but in discovering the character. A lot of times, once I put that on and I take a glance of myself in the mirror, I see the character begin to emerge, how she walks, how she sits, how she holds herself. And uh, yeah, so I just sort of peek at her from afar. And you know, how she you know, smooths her garment down, how she feels about herself. Most definitely, costumers are just the most awesome partners. Okay. Medler? One time right here. And Beth, can you look right here for social media for the costume designers? One well, shot over I, here. I'm sorry, I tried. No, I'm not. I lost it now. One more smile this way. Well, a good costume makes you stand up straight, and a good costume is, um, it, it, it sort of uh, disguises your flaws. It's, it builds you an outer body so that you look, you, you stand tall, you look tall, you look thin, you look slim. It disguises all your flaws, and it's, uh, costuming is a real art. I mean, I have been at it for, I've been with costumers for, for close to 60 years, and I've seen the craft and the art and the dedication that goes into building these costumes, to building these icons, to building these images that people say, wow, what the hell is that? I love that guy. I mean, you don't know why, because his shoulders are so broad and he's so beautiful, but really, it's the costume. So. <laughs> My, this is what happened. My mom got some friend, some clothes from her friend, and we dressed up in her friend's clothes. Because my mom didn't really have any real clothes, and it, the good clothes that she had, she didn't want us to put on. So we put on, you know, this friend's outfits, and we had so much fun. So much fun. Hey, right here. Thank you for all the amazing work. Thank you. How are you in the front, please? May I have you right here in the front? A straight hair for me, please. Straight hair, beautiful. And back to me, straight hair. Give me a kiss. And right here in the center. In the center, in the center, right here. Right here. All right. Right here. Right here. Right here. All right. Right here. 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 Right clothing just to get used to it when I'm researching two years before and then we were very closely in the beginning and then Sim has unbelievable she captains these unbelievable genius um, you know practitioners and team in fact tonight I put on social media and so did CM a little video showing the 9,000 costumes that she made with her team more than 9,000 costumes see she's always just a little bit more correct than I am <laughs> Look, I think yeah. yes, yes, absolutely. The suit, Just the scale of the number of outfits and finding that balance between the actor, the interpretation of a historical figure. I mean, we're just so lucky to have Austin. He makes all the clothes sing. 
and, and putting up with the things like, for example, you take the famous comeback leather suit. Yes, are we copying the one that was made from uh, horse leather that when he performed Elvis, he sweated they had to cut him out of that suit. It was so tight. But it's not the same in the movie because Austin, who's exactly the same height as Elvis, I mean, how many versions of it did we do, Sam? How many versions did you make of that suit? We made about exact... six to right. find. And then we had about four different versions because he needed them, you know, different standing, yeah. sitting, yeah, butt people, shots, people think, you know. People think it's just all Sam does is go copy the Elvis thing. That's not true at all. There's an enormous creative process in getting the feel and the interpretation so that it looks like the same thing, but it actually works Austin Elvis, not Elvis Elvis. Yeah. Austin right here. And straight out. And right here, guys, on your right together. It is very complicated, and we are right in the middle of it, right? So if there's an actress who, or an actor, but most often, as we know, it's women, right, that might feel uncomfortable in something or that you, know, you have to be, there's a sensitivity that you need to bring to the job. And also, on the other end, you have your producers and your directors, often mostly male, with different expectations of what they want physically from an actress. And it's, you know, it can be a delicate balance. Um, it demands respecting everybody. You made this? And now for you right? I love uh, costume, everything costume, as you can tell um, from this incredible Ellie Saab that I'm wearing. But for, for me, the freedom of being able to express yourself through clothes uh, holds a really deep meaning for me because of everything that, particularly right now, that's happening in my homeland, Iran. So I wanted to be here not only to celebrate Kate Hawley, our incredible costume designer from Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power, who's nominated tonight, very deservedly nominated. She's incredible. Um, but also just to remember the women of Iran who are risking everything for the freedom that we are enjoying tonight. Thank you so much. Got it. Thank you. What's your name? Krista. I'm Mary. Nice, nice to meet you. you. I work with Envy, so anytime you guys need somebody.